Hey guys, welcome back to Nia Nicole's Corner. As you can see from the title, this video is gonna be all about what's in my gym bag. And I hope everybody's New Year's resolution, if it was to work out and eat healthy, is still on track. And for those of you who, you know, are starting to fall off a little bit, not sure wearing what they should have in their bag, what their essentials are to bring to the gym, hopefully this video will help you. So if you are interested in seeing what I personally have in my gym bag, Stay tuned. So to start off, I think that you always need a really good pair of gym shoes. That will make or break your workout. So what I have are these hot pink with the blue and a little bit of purple bottom Nike Air Maxes. I actually got these for Christmas and these are really a lifesaver. Before I was using older Nike pair and when I was like running or working out I felt like I would have a lot of like shooting pains under at the bottom of my feet so I just think that the support had worn off but these have really been good because if you can see the thickness near the end it really kind of helps um, I guess minimize the pounding on the ground when you're working out running going to classes or you know just anything that you're doing at the gym so Definitely invest in a good pair of shoes. Then you ladies, speaking to the ladies, not so much the men, but get yourself a good sports bra because you need to be able to hold the girls in. You can't always just wear your regular bra um, to the gym. You want to get your workout in and you want to make sure that everything is staying in place. So get yourself a good bra. This one's actually from Victoria's Secret has a nice racer back I think maybe $30 and a lot of the times especially now they're having these like $10 off a bra or $10 off a sports bra so that's the best time so definitely get yourself one of these then I have a good pair of solid leggings these are pretty long, so they go all the way down to the ankle. Again, these are also from Victoria's Secret. Sorry, a lot of my thing, or I think that might be the last thing from Victoria's Secret, but my sister works there, so you know, anytime I can get a good discount on some good clothes. So, um, what I do like about these is the stretch. I feel like it really holds me in, and also this high waistband. I feel as if it just helps suck you in. I don't know. It just makes me feel better when I'm at the gym when I don't see a belly poking out but leggings I prefer leggings I don't really care for like sweatpants or not so much shorts either because when I'm running I don't really want my legs running rubbing together I don't know if you have that problem if you do comment down below if you have any other suggestions but leggings are it for me then for my top I usually just tend to wear a thermal this is from Old Navy a while ago, and usually you can get them for like $8 now. Um, especially in the winter time, I tend to like it because the, when you first get to the gym, it tends to be cold. However, you know, when you're working out, then of course you start to warm up. And then me personally, when I sweat more, it makes me work out more. So I just usually tend to work out in any type of long sleeve shirt. And if I am doing a regular t-shirt, sometimes I have like a zip up to kind of just throw over. And then this way, when it does get hot, I can always just take the zip off, up off. So then just some black underwear. That's all I buy when I work out. I just get black underwear, especially when you're working out in leggings. Ladies, 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 I hate it. When you see a woman in the gym wearing leggings and colored underwear and you can completely see her underwear and everything just flashing all around. Like, I'm just self-conscious when it comes to things like that. So get yourself some black underwear, you know? Or I guess no underwear at all, but get yourself some black underwear. And I usually, this is just a black silk kind of scarf um, just to wrap my hair up and put it around the edges because um, I don't really like a lot of sweat all on my face. So this kind of helps with that and then also helps with, you know, keeping the edges down, especially if you're wearing like weaves or wigs or you just got your hair done. This tends to, to help. And you also don't, the kind of key and trick is you don't want to take it off right away so if you're going to the gym on the ride home keep it on and let yourself 
cool down a bit and then take it off and then you won't get as many like frizzy edges that's what's helped me and then oh if i am not wearing the head like that head scarf i just kind of keep a little bit of a headband on that also helps as well now this is really helpful i'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of people wear it use it these are one of those like sweatbands and this is really great you kind of just wrap it around your stomach you can put it over clothes or you can put it underneath your clothes and it just really helps you get all the sweat out like when you're done working out after this your whole entire midsection is drenched 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 so get yourself one of these you can get it from walmart mine's the old's gym for like i think five dollars then i also always carry a wide tooth comb you know kind of make sure my hair is looking nice after the gym especially if i'm working out at my gym at work I have something to kind of comb out my hair after I'm done working out. Always some extra hair ties. You can never have too many. And then I also have this, what is it? Um, A spin seat, seat pad. This is really helpful. I kind of just started getting into spin and after the first time, my butt was really, really sore. So I went into Target and I actually found this one. It's like a gel memory foam. So when you go in, it has just a drawstring. So when you go into a spin class, you kind of just like put it over the seat cover and it just gives you that extra padding that you need. So, you know, the more you do it, the less soreness your behind is so i think i feel like on the website it was ten dollars but in the store it was twenty dollars so if you go if that happens to you go down to the customer service they will honor the online price so and i also have some he headphones i got these beats for christmas i really enjoy them because i need music when i'm working out so this is very very helpful like honestly i'm that girl if i don't have any music when i'm going to the gym i kind of turn around and go back home so carry yourself some beats or any type of headphone and then always some socks you can never have too many because that's the worst and it's kind of gross working out with no socks on and then per this is particularly like I do have deodorant um, again when I'm working out at my gym for lunch at work you want to put some deodorant on before you go back to your desk because that's gross then I also have some just like some spray I got this curve I don't even know what the scent is necessarily but just something to throw in your bag spray yourself off before you go back up to your desk and then for more feminine I guess products I have the summer's eve cleansing cloth so if you need to take care of down there you can always kind of just wipe yourself back off and then I do just have some baby wipes as well same thing um, but I also like to use it to take off my makeup especially if I'm going to the gym right after work I kind of just like to clean my face off because that's the worst to be I guess not my preference to be working out with the full face makeup on like I'm not at the gym to socialize I'm at the gym to like lose some weight so these and you could just put it in a baggie or you can get like one of those like smaller um smaller packs that you kind of just keep in your bag because you, you honestly never know so and then the last oh some some lotion you know some probably dollar store lotion from Harmons or anything like that um because you never know if you're wearing shorts or if you are wearing leggings and especially in the winter time you know you tend to not get the the elbows the knees because they're being covered up from with jeans or long sleeve shirts so you can never go wrong with having some lotion in your bag and then I would say the last thing in my bag is my polar ft7 
stand and watch. This honestly is a lifesaver. I got this for Christmas and it's like honestly the best. If you want to see how many calories you're burning or what your heart rate is and it also keeps track of I believe the last 10 workout so you can kind of see you know like track how you've been doing over the past like week and a half and it's really easy so you kind of just put the watch on like you're wearing a regular watch and then you put this band you, the key is to put a little bit of like water so it helps stick and you kind of just have it sticking around your like right underneath your like breath breastbone and this talks with this to tell you what your um, heart rate is and how many calories you're burning and kind of like how you're doing on your workout. So if you kind of said, hey, I wanna burn 500 calories this workout and you're at 450, it's gonna push you to reach that goal that you had set prior to you know working out. So get one of these. I feel like before they used, it's kind of like the Fitbit, they used to be more expensive, like maybe a hundred dollars, but you can kind of get a better deal. I know Best Buy sells them, Walmart sells them, Target. I got it offline at some website and they had it for like $60. So invest in one of these. And that is completely it. But I did forget in the beginning to say where my gym bag is. This is actually a Victoria's Secret bag that my sister gave to me I think it's maybe their pink collection it was a while ago so I don't think it's available anymore but a lot of the times if you spend like $75 you can get a free bag so this is really great because it makes sure I carry everything because sometimes I didn't show you but sometimes I have two pairs of sneakers in my bag um, in case I happen to forget one I can still work out because I have a, a backup pair so um, definitely invest yourself invest in a good bag it could be anything though to be honest i feel like i was carrying you know some no name brand type of thing um anything just to hold all your things so that you can make sure that you get a good workout you're not forgetting any of your items at home and um kind of looks cute too so and then also if you're working out after work you have somewhere to put your clothes that you came to the gym in so i really hope that this was helpful um and stay on track if you are still trying to lose weight it's not gonna be you know an overnight process it, this is a lifestyle change and that's the key thing it's a lifestyle change and if any of you guys are interested in maybe some of the like healthier recipes and things like that that i um like to make because i'm a foodie i like and enjoy good tasting food so i cannot be on the diet and just eat chicken and salads all day like I like to kind of switch things up and um, if you are interested leave a comment below and I can record some of that for you so um, until then have a great afternoon bye